Please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 94 from legal material. 5 seconds. Start. Aggrieved from the judgment of the High Court, the appellant has preferred the present appeal to this court under Article 136 of the Constitution of India. The challenge to the judgment of the High Court as well as notification dated 24th of March 2000 is on the ground that the appellant could not have been could not have remained probationer beyond the period of probation he had held the office for a period of more than 3 years after this period the appellant will be deemed to have been confirmed and thus his discharge from service is contrary to the rules. A confirmed employee cannot be discharged as probationer and he, if there is anything against the appellant, the department ought to have conducted departmental inquiry in accordance with rules. Further, it is contended that the action of the High Court and the state government is arbitrary and without any basis. The service record of the appellant was excellent and there was nothing on the record to justify that the appellant had become unsuitable for the post. On the contrary, the submission on behalf of the respondents is that there cannot be a deemed confirmation. The High Court, in exercise of its power of superintendence, as well as under the rules found that the appellant was entirely unsuitable for his retention in service. The service record of the appellant is also such that it does not justify his retention in service being a person under surveillance of police prior to joining the service. The appellant being a probationer has rightly been discharged from service and the writ petition has rightly been dismissed by the High Court for valid reasons and judgment of the High Court does not call for any interference. The bare reading of the above impugned notification shows that it is ex facie, not stigmatic. It simply discharges the appellant from service as having been found unsuitable to hold the post of district judge until and unless the appellant is able to show circumstances supported by cogent material on record that this order is stigmatic and is intended to overreach the process of law provided under the rules, there is no occasion for this court to interfere on facts. As far as law is concerned, the question raised is with regard to the applicability of the concept of deemed confirmation to the present case under the service jurisprudence. We may also notice that conduct of the appellant who is a judicial officer belonging to the higher judicial services of the state is matter of some concern. Contradictory statements have been made in the writ petition before the High Court, memorandum of appeal before this court, and even in the rejoinder and further affidavit filed before this court. Strangely, the High Court has neither contested this case nor pursued it in its correct perspective. As it appears, even appearance on behalf of the High Court was not entered upon. Despite specific orders of this court, the High Court had failed to produce the records and even no responsible officer was present. Stop.